Hi, Steve here again uh, with another HCAT video. Um, it's been a, a while since I posted anything, but I wanted to get uh, some parts so that I could do a proper uh, proper video. Uh, what I've got here is just some iron pipe that I bought from Home Depot with uh, bronze or sorry brass fittings on the top and the bottom. Um, inside of this, I've got a catalytic converter. Looks similar to this. Um, and this fits perfectly into the inch and a quarter tube. I've got some nice heat sinks coming that will fit around this um, that are uh, they're for LEDs, but uh, they're about that that wide in a diameter, 82 millimeter diameter. And this is 35 millimeter here, so they'll fit right down on it. And I've got them uh, 90 millimeter tall, which is uh, just 10 millimeter shy of this. Uh, I was going to take that and um, my CNC, I was going to make some caps for both sides of this and essentially make this type of apparatus. Um, with uh, some large heat sinks on the outside. Now, I've got those on order. Um, inside of the bottom of this, this here, there are there is some. Uh, oh, let me get some some stainless steel wool, and I've got it packed in through about here. The cat starts about here, all the way up to the top, and then from there down I've packed in uh, stainless steel wool. Seems to be working okay. Uh, I can run this up to about a liter a minute, and then I do get a flashback. But let me show you the, uh, the temperature. I can catch the temperature here. Got it running. Um, it's been going for quite a while, so that I could show you this video, but let's see. There is one point on here that's upwards of 300 degrees, but, oops, 275 about right there. Um, on the input, this will be the input, right here I've got my HHO coming in. I put these copper tubes on here because it gets extremely hot and uh, first time I tried this I was just using this fitting here with some of my green green tubing um, and it got really hot right here and melted it so I'm going to do this uh, copper so we've got copper here so that it'll dissipate the heat out by the time it gets over here, it's cold. So I've got about one liter a minute going in right now. Um, and then up here, I've got a coil. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cool that. And this is this is my observation. There's um, there's hydrogen gas, pure hydrogen gas coming off of this. Uh, because you've got your your HHO, and it's you know, 66% uh, hydrogen, 33% oxygen. When that oxygen is consumed, uh, what you have left is 33% uh, hydrogen, and it should be pretty dang pure. Uh, so, what I've done is I've made this tube so that uh, to cool it. To cool the hydrogen as it comes out, and to get condense, uh, which I think is pretty cool, condense water that's coming out of it. And I wanted to show you the, uh, you can see a drop of water right there. When uh, hydrogen and oxygen combine uh, back together, um, it, it creates water. You can see some water passing through there right now. And you can see that the water is being pushed. So that that's how I can illustrate 
that there's a uh, hydrogen coming out the end um, because it's not steam because the water is cool co cooled from this uh, coil and you can see that there so we've got a little bit of hydrogen coming out the end and really I don't really think it's any concern at all um, last night I had this set up with some plastic tubes and I was able to get this little tip it's a .035 welding tip I was able to light a flame on that and you couldn't see it, it's very very tiny but I could stick my finger in front of that and it would burn, burn me so I know that there's uh, hydrogen coming out um, I wanted to demonstrate that but I couldn't uh, couldn't get the flame to sustain itself but uh, hopefully uh, this is enough in this video to uh, prove that you know the hydrogen is, is coming out the end um, check the temperature again there's 310 you can imagine what kind of heat would be drawn off of this with some heat sinks around it. Uh, let me show you the power supply. Here's the HHO going down through that tube, up this tube, into a large flash arrestor, out of that flash arrestor through this clear tube, down over here and up to my mess. Uh, here's the reservoir tank and here's the HHO cell that's producing the HHO um, power supply there is powering this PWM board that's running at about 15 amps and here's my voltage 9.7 so we're running um, this is going to be a little bit less than one liter a minute uh, the this cell will produce a liter per minute with 165 watts. So let's see, 9.72 times it's like about 14.9. We'll just say 15. So 145 watts. So we're close to a liter per minute. So if I turn this up to about 18. Amps. Um, 17.2. See what we get there. 17.2 times 9.9. 170. So we're at a liter per minute. Um, this is at the point where this will flash back. Uh, I just want to show you the water that's produced. It just belched out a bunch of water there. So this this um, this system can produce uh, heat that in turn could um, produce energy, and in turn you would get fresh water. So kind of neat. In some places that uh, maybe don't have fresh water but have a lot of sunlight, this could be um, the answer to at least getting some water uh, free from the sun. So anyway, this is my, my newest attempt at the HCAT. You can see it's getting hot here because I've Turn up to a liter per minute. I don't know if you can see that a little bit of the oil from the pipe is still burning off. Let's look at the temperature here one last time. I'll probably get a flashback here soon. About three, yeah, three fifteen. So, 
if you could get the flame to be sustained on the end of this a small flame uh, I know that uh, some other guys talking about uh, the little the flower pot heater uh, you could use this section for the main heat and then burn off that extra hydrogen coming off the end underneath the flower pot heater and you can basically uh, pretty much use most of the energy there there's a look at the water there and the hydrogen coming out the end there and there we go another little bit of pure water alright guys uh, hopefully I've explained this well I'll end this video really appreciate everyone for watching and all the people that are out there uh, experimenting with this um, been a, a big help uh, for me to be able to, to do this and in the next video I'll, uh, I'll basically have what I was talking about this with the heat sinks and the heat sinks on this are pretty much going to be about three and a three and a quarter inch so I found some aluminum tube that's three and a quarter inch I'll place the whole assembly inside of aluminum tube and I'll be able to blow some air across the the fins of the uh, heat sinks and be able to generate some real heat hopefully uh, with this type of system alright guys thanks for watching my video appreciate your comments